Okay, today we're going to look at the extrude along a path feature. So I have sketched just a simple 2D circle. I'm going to go into features and in SolidWorks it's called swept boss, but the term we want to use is extrude along a path. So I'll select that feature and I'm just going to have a circular profile, it's currently defaults to 10, and I'm just going to tell it to extrude along this path here, the circle. As you can see, that's what I end up with. We'll just adjust the size of that down to maybe 5 millimeters, just to show you the impact. I've created a simple ring with a cross section that is a circle. So that's the first wee bit. I'm just going to show you with, uh, my computer's going just a wee bit slow, a little bit laggy as we say. Uh, I'm just going to show you another path that I have sketched. Now I've been using the arc tool. Okay, so if I just quickly go in and edit my sketch, I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to go to the arc tool and I'll just go on the end of my line here. I'm going to click, click and I'm just going to drag and I'm going to put in an arc there, like so. So Eczema sketch, so I have this rather interesting looking path. So we go into features. Remember, we call it extrude along a path. And I'm going to go for a circular profile again. I'm going to make it fairly small. I'm going to go two millimeters and I'm going to select the path within this box here. Click on the start of the path and it will select all of that line, like so. I'll just have a wee spin about so you can see what I've actually created here. Now there may be occasions where you don't want it to be a circular cross section like we have here. You may perhaps want a different shape. So I'm just going to delete that last feature. And what I'm actually going to do is I am going to add another plane. I'm going to add a plane on the end of this dot. So I click on that line, I click on the end of it and it will give me a work plane that is sitting perpendicular. So I'm going to sketch on there now. So we'll click on sketch. So now sketching on this new work plane, control eight, so that I'm looking straight on at it. And instead of a circle, I'm probably, well, I'll do a hexagon, why not? So select this, click the end of my line, and I'll just draw something. I'm not too fussed about the size. Exit sketch. And we'll just zoom out and we'll see what we've actually got there. So I'm just going to hide the, the work plane a wee minute. So you can see I have this path and then I have this additional sketch, which is no longer circle. I've went for a hexagon. So here we go. We're going to go into features and we're going to use this extrude along a path. So I'm going to click on sketch, what they've called sketch 18. Let me make sure that's selected and I'll go into the extrude along a path. Okay. And I need to select that profile actually. There we go. And then in this box, I'm going to select the path. And you can see that it's now created that feature using a different cross section rather than a circle. So that's it. That's as difficult as it gets. So have a go and see how you get on.